Hello YouTube, this is John. In this video, I'm going to quickly show you how to enable your USB boot options on your HP laptop and HP desktops. In my case, I'm going to power on and click F9 to go to the boot menu. And on our boot menu, we don't get the option to boot to the USB as you can see. So if I move closer a bit, sorry about that, we don't have our usb boot options and we have our usb inserted so you're going to click escape so when you click escape you're going to go to f10 or you can click on this part then to take you to the bios setup so when you go to the bios setup you're going to go to advanced so when you go to advanced you're going to go to boot options and secure boot so you first go to this option and you enable the usb storage boot and uh, this is very important and when you go here, you have to enable Lega support. But when you go back here, uh, secure boot was, and Lega support was disabled. Uh, you have to enable this option. You do this, Lega support, then secure boot disabled. Then after that, you're going to click F10 to save changes. So when you click F10, F10 you're going to click yes, save changes, then the computer will reboot. So when the computer reboots, you're going to go and click F9 so that we go to the boot menu so I'm going to power on my PC then I'm, I'll click F9 so that we go to the boot menu so when you go to our boot menu as you can see we have our sun disk uh, this could be another USB depending on your brand so I have my sun disk here I'll click on it then this will start the Windows installation process on other computers to show the Windows 11 logo that is square and but in this PC it will first show the HP logo then after you continue the process so this is how you do it and this is how easy it is uh, please subscribe to this channel so that you can grow and so that you can make more videos uh, every day so if this video is helpful please go ahead and click the bell icon so that we got notified whenever I upload this video like this. So this is what we have. And we have our Windows 11 waiting for installation. So you can watch my previous video on how to on how to install Windows 11 uh, from scratch. So have a nice time. Goodbye.